What's going on, my PT peeps, my walking dead family, my fighters? I'm One Eye Bright, also known as PT. You don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the Walking Dead season 11, episode 9, and some potential spoilers. So, obviously, spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead. Well, we have one source that we have some pretty good idea that they're legit good potential spoilers. Another one I'm not so sure about, but I'm going to share it with you anyway. Well, share them with you anyway, because we love to just provide potential spoilers. These may or may not occur, but highly likely in some areas but let me know your thoughts post your comments below like share subscribe photo credit info credit to the people who made these potential spoilers these are not mine i'm just sharing with you i don't know who to give credit to besides amc walking dead without an eye and walking on instagram but here we go daryl maggie and the others have returned with the food for the group i'm guessing from the meridian daryl and carol say hey to each other and hug he also hugs lydia the grimes children run to daryl and he hugs them tight and picks them up maggie and herschel reunite as well as Gabriel with Rosita and Coco, Daryl takes the bushel basket of apples from the cart. He tells Judith and RJ to take one and starts going around, letting people take apples from the basket while he's holding it with both hands. Connie and Kelly walk their way up to the group. When Daryl makes eye contact with her, he says, no way, drops the basket in shock and relief, causing the apples to spill out onto the ground before excitedly running to her, flinging himself into her arms to hug her tightly. So we get the reunion, it looks like, with Daryl and Connie, and that's great. So it's kind of cool that we see our group leave the Meridian with the bushels of food, and hopefully they go there, get the food. The big question is, do the Reapers stay at the Meridian? If not, why doesn't some of our group go there and secure it and have another outpost area? Do the Reapers make it out? We just don't know. We don't find out much from this source, but another source they talk about a little bit. But if the Reapers come and go in 1109, it seems like a waste of story in my opinion. But the group we know makes it back to Alexandria and we see in the cart, we see a bunch of food. So they take a bunch of stuff from the Meridian and I guess they leave it abandoned. And then we see our group hug Daryl and they share hugs and everybody's glad to see each other because it's been some time since they've been out there. It's, you know, I don't know how much time has gone past, but we see Father Gabriel back inside Alexandria, I'm guessing, or maybe this is in the Meridian, but our group looks to be safely getting back to Alexandria and it's nice that we finally see Daryl and Connie because it's been a long time since they've seen each other that's for sure so it'll be a nice reunion and the spoilers continue Daryl and Connie are shown to be very happy to see one another after they hug Connie kind of pushes his chest playfully and affectionately as the camera pans to Carol who is looking at them together and smiling when they separate Daryl is smiling happily and signs that he's happy to see her and she smiles and signs you too Daryl hugs Kelly and Dog tries to eat one of the apples that fell on the ground. Daryl signs and says to Connie, I have so many questions for you, and she signs for me, jokingly, and he touches her shoulder and says, yeah. So do you think we're going to get a Daryl and Connie romance? Or is it just something that we're not going to get? I know a lot of people have hashtag Donnie for Daryl and Connie getting together. Some people want Daryl and Carol, but if we know we're getting a Daryl and Carol spinoff if that's still the plan what does this mean for daryl and connie does connie die this season because if there's a relationship why would daryl just leave connie does connie stay at the commonwealth and you know some people are going to stay at the commonwealth some people are going to stay at alexandria we'll have to see what the show does because we all know that the show is the show and the comic is the comic but you know i don't really need to see daryl in a relationship i know some people since season nine are like daryl and connie are great for each other they should be there together. But I don't know if Daryl's ever gonna be in a relationship with somebody. We know that Daryl has learned sign language since season 10, episode one, so he could be pretty good at it by now. There's a lot of time in the zombie apocalypse. It remains to be seen what's gonna happen with Daryl and Carol. They're happy together, they're not. They're pissed at each other, they're not. You know, it just is just a relationship of two friends for a long time. I think it's platonic and they care about each other, even though some people want them to be together. I just don't see that happening unless it's the very, very end of the Walking Dead universe where they kiss each other, the end. Now here are the other spoilers. I don't know if they're correct. It just seems like they picked up things from the trailer and they just made up spoilers. So I don't know the source here, but Maggie and the rest escape the fireworks through the horde dipping into the woods. Daryl radios Leah the next day to try and get her to understand, but she won't budge. Eventually, they sneak back into the Reaper compound. So again, I don't know if it's something that someone picked up from the trailer, but they're like, yeah, okay, Maggie and the group, they leave at night, 
go into the woods because we see it in the trailer. And this is all kind of stuff that we saw in the trailer. We see Maggie in the woods. We see Daryl and Father G in the woods by a campfire at night. We know that they were at the Meridian at night. Then we see them during the day. So it just seems like it could make sense. And I just, these could happen. Again, I just don't know the source. So again, credit to the source for the information. Is it, you know, people make a lot of theories and ideas and speculation and people see it as, oh, confirm spoilers. And we know that Daryl is going to contact Leah. They're going to talk. They're going to take Carver as a prisoner because again, it's in the trailer. So is it spoilers or is it trailer breakdown? After sneaking back in, Maggie and Negan get attacked by the Reapers, including Carver. Negan manages to rough him up. Daryl also gets attacked and has an intense fight. Daryl decides to bring Carver as a hostage to the Meridian to reason with Leah. She still won't listen. So again, trailer breakdown could happen in the show, but we know that Carver is going to be taken prisoner. We know that Carver and Negan are going to fight in the hallway. In the trailer, we see this. Negan is going to... <laughs> hit him in the stomach with, I guess, the crowbar or a pipe. I can't make it out. But either way, Negan beats up Carver. And uh, we know that Negan is more important than Carver on the show. So, you know, it's got to happen. Maggie finds Alden dead hanging at the Meridian. So a lot of people saw this and they're like, there you go. Alden's dead, confirmed. And I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but I just don't know the source. And I don't know how legit it is or not. But I think Alden's going to die and it makes sense. Now in the trailer, we know that Maggie is pissed. Something is really bothering her and it's during the day. So they went back into the Meridian. Again, it just makes sense that the trailer breakdown is there. Is that Alden hanging behind Maggie? It makes sense that it is. The outfit kind of looks similar to Alden's. I just, you know, the shirt, it, it's hard to tell the coloring in the trailers and stuff here. Is it Alden hanging behind Maggie or was Alden's body there or was he a walker or something that we know that the Reapers did it. Either way, they know the Reapers did attack Alden and they're responsible if he just turned and he didn't make it. So that could set Maggie off for sure. And here's the last potential spoiler. After Maggie finds Alden dead, she then kills the rest of the Reapers that are with Leah, including Carver or Carnver with his own ax. They load up crates, fruits, and veggies, as well as other food supplies before they leave which connects with the other spoilers that our group takes the supplies back to Alexandria. But again, is that Alden hanging upside down behind Maggie or is Alden's body somewhere else? I believe it's the comma that uh, Elijah's weapon is. That's not actually Carver's ax, but I could be wrong. Again, we know that Carver has the comma in his chest right there from the spoiler pick that happened way back when, many, many months ago. So again, it looks to be happening there. A big point that I want to emphasize is that the potential spoilers say Maggie kills the rest of the Reapers that are with Leah. It doesn't say she kills Leah. So does Leah live? Is she very much alive? Is she going to be part of the communities? Is she going to be on her own? Does she have more story arc after 1109? I guess time will tell. But let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Again, info credit to the people who made the potential spoilers. Well wrote them and posted them. Stay safe. And as always, tell them, Daryl.